Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Lauren, aka Books McD, and today I want to talk about a project that I'm pursuing. It's definitely a long-term project. It's tackling my physical TBR. I've seen a lot of videos on TikTok where people do this. They might have like a candy machine even, and they have like a little plastic thing where the, the title is inside, and then they pop it open and they pick the title from their shelves. I saw some similar ones that was just wrapping the books and uh, then doing it that way. I did run out of paper, so I just wrapped these two shelves, which these are more my contemporary fiction one-off shelves. Uh, you can see the brown paper. And I have a lot of, I'm like a knickknacks person. I don't know why that skein of yarn is there, but what like we're living our best life. So I wrapped these. I have the third shelf is like, it could be fantasy, but I think it's like contemporary fiction. They're, they're essentially series. They could be memoirs too. I think it's just like series that don't fit to me in my fantasy shelf or maybe they do but I just don't know yet because like some of them I don't really know what they're about my fourth shelf is nonfiction. my fifth shelf is fantasy series the sixth shelf is essentially all Agatha Christie which I almost have a complete set of Agatha Christie and I just uh I've only read like a few so all of those are included in this physical TBR. I also saw this uh, scan gun on TikTok, which I thought was fun. Beep, beep. And I scanned all of my books into Libib, which is like a free library tracking tool, but you can track like not just books, but you can track DVDs, you can track CDs. I think anything with a barcode essentially, but over 5,000 items and I think then you have to start paying but like I don't have that many items so it's fine and then what I like is you can export that to a CSV you can put that into Excel or numbers or whatever platform you're using platform software hard you know what I mean your computers anyway so I did that made some spreadsheets and then I did it by shelf so I could use a random number generator to say random number generate the shelf one out of six I could random number generate like after that because I have the number ranges of the books. Um, it's not going to be a perfect process. We're going to learn together how best to choose a book. I also did it kind of by genre because I thought, okay, maybe I'm in the mood for a nonfic. I don't know. Oh yeah. Also look at my new cup. Dunkings. Oh my God. Mm. It's just coffee. I made myself in here. Oh my God. It's so good though. But essentially I got this right after that Super Bowl commercial. And it took so long to get here that Dunkin' Donuts was like, hey, we didn't forget about you. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot about you. And then they gave me $20, $25 gift card also, which I thought was nice. Okay. Mm. Anyway, yeah, I'm still drinking coffee at like three in the afternoon. It's fine. I just, I'm, I milk it. I mean, I put milk in it, but then I also milk it. Anyway, I digress. Okay. So today I'm going to pick my first book for the physical TBR project. And then I don't know, like, I guess I'll just review it and then pick one the next video. Again, this is going to be a learning process. This is going to be a long-term project because I am also in like four book clubs. <laughs> Ow. I am also in like four book clubs. And so I'm usually like, I have to read about three and a half books a month. One is like a every two month book club. So right now I'm reading The Snow Child, which I've already read, but I recommend it because I wanted people to like the book I chose because I've picked some books that people didn't like and then I wanted the vindication. Anyway, so I'm reading, rereading that. I have to read Hester for the two month club. I'm reading Harlem Shuffle for a virtual book club. And then I'm reading The Echo of, I have it like stacked under my computer so I can lift my computer. Whatever uh the echo of old books so I'm like I'm reading four books but this is the problem like I'm always getting things from the library I'm getting audiobooks from the library audible I'm buying things like after I did the whole count in my spreadsheet I bought five more books so my spreadsheet and like here's the big reveal the big number 303 books 303 books that I have not read so I have more than 303 books in here and then I bought five more so it's actually 308 308. One of them I bought um, The Royal Diaries by Hilary Burton Morgan, who I love because I like One Tree Hill. And I am also doing a One Tree Hill marathon. I'm really sharing a lot of detail for like something that could be a two minute video, but it's fine. I'm living my best life. Okay. So coffee's really good today. <laughs> okay. So I guess I'm in the mood for anything. Now, granted, like these are not going to be often. I'll just put it in a playlist because I do. I really, really want to get I want to be able to say I've read the books on my shelves. Maybe not every single one. Maybe I'm in the midst of buying some and getting rid of some. But I want to start. I, ha I don't have an infinite amount of space. I have this room. And sure, things will eventually seep into the house. But I, I would like to 
have the willpower to, you know, make some choices. And I think what I would like to do is only keep things on my shelves that I would personally rate above a certain level. I don't know what that level is going to be yet. I, I think I have to start seeing like what I'm rating things if I want to keep them. Gifts, I will probably still keep regardless of what I rate them because they were a gift and they make me think of the person who gave it to me. So like there's going to come with an extra little sentimentality to those books. And then I have a lot of books that like people gave me because they were moving. Those I won't feel obligated to keep. Um, but if people just were like, I'm moving, do you want these like bags of books? Then okay, sure. But like if they were a gift gift for like Christmas and I remember that stuff, like I remember who gave me what. Don't necessarily remember what a book is about from 10 years ago, which is why I'm so good at rereading because like I forget everything, but it's fine. So I don't think I'm in the mood for anything in particular. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna random number generate the shelf. And then I will random number generate. Although, am I in the mood for a series? And then I'll random number generate within there. I don't know that it's the best time for me to start a series, but I don't know how to random number generate shelf one, two, four, and six. So I will just random number generate between all six shelves. If it's a series shelf, which is three or five, I will just click it again. I'm just using Google. You just can Google random number generator and it just, you put in your min and your max and then you hit generate. That's all I'm doing. Not cheating. I'm actually gonna read whatever it picks for me. The thing about series is what I'm thinking is I will just count the series across and then start with the first book. If I want to continue the series, like if I'm vibing with it, then I'll just continue. I won't use the random number generator. So you may see a couple videos in the row for the physical TBR project that are just the same series or whatever, because I don't know if you're vibing, you just keep going, right? Anyway, I feel like I'm a mood reader, but like, I and I know this is gonna take discipline, but you know what? We're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do it. So let's random number generate the shelf and then we'll go from there. Okay, so six, okay. Right off the bat, we're starting with an Agatha Christie. So now I have to go to my spreadsheet Sorry for the shakiness. It's because I just put my phone right on top of my laptop. So then I need the range of the Agatha Christie shelf. So 241 to 303 is essentially the Agatha Christie books. So let's put that into the random number generator. What did I just say? 241. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little bit of a better memory for this process. 241 to 303. And I have to put that in the min and the max. So 241, 303, 248. Okay, let's see what 248 is. I'm going to actually physically go find it. I don't know how to film this for you all. I'm not like, I'm not camera savvy. So I'll probably just go get it. Cut the part out where I'm going to get it. And then I'll just show it to you. One day I might take you on a bookshelf tour or whatever, but uh, I have to go get it now. So BRB. Okay, I went and got the book and I came back and it is, these are also not in chronological order of when Agatha Christie wrote them. They're not organized by Poirot and Miss Marple and there are some other characters in there. They're just thrown on there. So I have no idea what order I'm even going to be reading these in. I don't think Agatha Christie's works have to be read in any kind of order, so I'm just going for it. I picked Death Comes as the End. Death Comes at the as the End. Sorry, I have a light on because it's so dark in here today. Um, I have these, like, kind of leathery wrapped books uh, that are older. Ooh, did you hear that? That spine snapping and <laughs> cracking. It, uh, that's how you know I haven't opened it before. Ooh. Oh, my God. Was that weird? Anyway, I just, I don't know what it's about. I did briefly look it up and I think it's a standalone. Like it's not Poirot, it's not Marple, it's just a standalone. But this is also perfect because it's a nice way to start the physical TBR challenge because it's a nice thin book, not in a series. I mean, I don't count hers as in a series really, but not in a series, just a nice one-off, start the challenge. Let's chip away at these 308 books. I have to kind of incorporate those extra five I bought into the shelf, but it's fine. We can get there when we get there. But this will be the first one. I'll just give you a little blurb next time, review, let you know the score on it. But this is, we'll say one of 308. Number one of 308, Death Comes as the End, Agatha Christie. Thanks for tuning in. 
Thanks for taking this journey with me to chip away at my physical TBR. I'm not putting a due date on this because I think this will be um, maybe before I'm dead is the due date. Okay. I'm on social media. Please like and subscribe and follow to follow along on this journey that is going to be bad. <laughs> it's going to be bad just because I like I know that I can't control myself. Like more books are going to come in. So the the pile is going to have to be adjusted. So but you know, we're going to make do. We're going to live our best lives and we're going to do this together and I can do this and I'm going to read all my books. I'm so excited. So thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you. Like, subscribe, follow, whatever. Get your coffee. Have your fave cup. Have your fave life, okay? All right, talk to you later. Bye.